see how his following has grown? Now they're even claiming Jesus can raise the dead. If this rabbi is more popular than you and the other temple leaders, that is your problem, Nashon. <laughs> Not Rome's. But some are calling Jesus the Messiah, the savior of the people. <laughs> you are overreacting. If they start calling him king, there will be a rebellion. Isn't that Rome's problem? Job? Uh, excuse me, miss, but do you have a backstage pass? And Giz, what are you doing? Oh, it is very exciting, Joy. Chris is letting me be his band manager. Since my band qualified for an audition on the mega hit show World's Best Band, I've been just a little bit busy being king. King? King of what? King of rock and roll sounds good. Yeah, it's good to be king. As a superstar, I have to keep my distance from the lesser band members. You understand. A little faster, Gizmo? That does it. Gizmo, full speed! What? Wait! Gizmo, stop! <laughs> Joy, you don't know who you just messed with. <laughs> I just happen to be the king of... Superbook! Superbook, wait! I'm gonna be on TV! We can't do... I am taking you to meet a true king, the son of God. Camptown Robots sing this song. Do da, do da. Oh. Get it together, Giz. Can you tell us where we are? My geosensors indicate we are in Bethany, a small town a couple of miles from Jerusalem. Time, the first century. And it appears someone is drawing quite a crowd. Here, listen in. Yes, yes, gather round. My friend and teacher Jesus is the Messiah. What's a Messiah? My database indicates that Messiah is Hebrew for the Chosen One, a king anointed by God who would one day be the greatest king of all. All right, this guy hangs with royalty. These are my people. Your people? <laughs> Slow down, Chris. This is first century Jerusalem. We don't know anybody here. I'll check the first century's who's who. My info scanner is indexing that man is Simon Peter. He is a disciple of Jesus of Nazareth. And Jesus is about to become so famous, the whole world will know him. Cool. Come on, guys. As I looked down at the water beneath my feet, I suddenly realized nothing was there to keep me afloat. Here, let me help you, Peter. Oh, thank you. No problem. 
That is when Jesus reached out his hand and pulled me up. And I stood with him, right there on the water itself. Oh, really? On top of the water? You must come and listen to his words. He is our way to salvation. Lead the way, Peter. And don't worry, my people are happy to carry your baskets. I can't wait to meet a man who walks on water. And I can't wait till you lose that audition and get back to being yourself. We'll meet some of the other disciples. We have become such great friends. Why the you? You? Okay, maybe not such great friends. John and his brother just asked that Jesus promised to put them in places of honor when Jesus becomes king. And why shouldn't we be in the places of honor? Because there are more deserving disciples who understand the needs of a king and ruler. Judas is correct. Why you, John? Why wouldn't I be in the place of honor? Do you really want me to answer that? Peter, who sank like a rock? At least I got out of the boat. Where was your faith, John, when Jesus was asking? What are you accusing me of? He's coming. Welcome, Joy and Gizmo. Thank you for helping bring the food. He knew me. Jesus knew my name. If you want to be great, you must be the servant of all the others. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Now go. Tomorrow we will go to Jerusalem. Should be making more noise. This is their soon to be king. And Jesus shouldn't be riding a donkey. A king rides a stallion. This isn't what we need. If he's going to be king, he needs to start behaving as a king. Practice for when I'm a real rock star. He is stirring up the people, making an entrance like this. Hmm. I've seen worse crowds. Notice they wave palm branches, the symbol for a conquering hero. Is Rome ready to have Jesus the Conqueror replace Caesar? Jesus of Nazareth! You should calm this crowd at once. You are creating a public nuisance. I tell you that if these should keep silent, the stones themselves would immediately cry out. This is great! Can't stop a rising star! Going to the temple, things will calm.
are they selling animals in the temple? There are usually a few vendors selling small animals for offerings. And the money changers are here to swap travelers' coins for the local currency. Now I wonder where John and Judas are. We were supposed to meet them here with Jesus. My father's house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations! But you turned it into a den of thieves! Giz, come on. That doesn't sound good. Master, these actions will bring us the wrong kind of attention. We must go. My time is almost upon us, and I have much still to do. Jesus is causing a riot in the temple. When you get there, you'll see what he's been up to. I will see what I will see. Chris, do you think they will arrest Jesus? I'm not sure. We gotta distract them long enough to warn the disciples. Giz, get us a free pass to the nosebleed section? Lord Air Gizmo! Okay, Giz, on three. planning to arrest Jesus. I told you this was not going as it should. They have no cause for arrest. Jesus is teaching and ministering to the people. He's tired, Peter. He wants to visit Mary and Martha in Bethany and rest for a while. This is your revolt, Nashon. <laughs> Quit wasting my time. Marianas! Stop that woman! You're wasting expensive oil. We could sell that and use the money for the poor. Leave her alone. She did this in preparation for my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. What does he mean?
see things my way. How much will you pay for this? Thirty pieces of silver? When will you deliver Jesus? When the time is right. Gizmo, what in the world are you doing? Oh, I have hired the local paparazzi to get Chris's picture with Jesus. You know, to boost Chris's star power in the tabloids. Papara... Gizmo, cameras haven't been invented yet. Yes, but these guys do a mean, fast sketch. Send them away now. Okay, boys. Pack it up. Chris, could you please get me a basin of water and a towel? Uh, sure. I can have that for you ASAP. Joy, Jesus wants a basin of water and a towel. Jump to it. Oh, I'm jumping. What are you doing, Chris? Yeah, we don't jump, right, Jesus? People jump for us. Oh, have I shown you nothing, Chris? Well, no, you were... Well, I, I mean... Man, blew that big time. Hmm, this is not the action of a king. Servants wash our feet when we arrive from a journey, not one who would be king. I know what you mean. This is the opposite of how a star, I mean, a king should, I mean, why is he doing this? You shall never wash my feet. If I do not wash you, you do not really belong to me. Lord, do not wash just my feet. Wash my hands and my head. People who have bathed and are clean all over need to wash just their feet. You call me teacher and lord, and you are right, because that is what I am. And if your lord and teacher has washed your feet, you should do the same for each other. Now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. Right? He's about to become king, Giz. He's a superstar. I mean, everybody can tell how great Jesus is, but he's in there just washing people's feet. Most assuredly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Oh, no! No! Never to say it! What you do, do quickly. Take this and drink, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. What is it, Chris? I don't know. Nothing. No, it's definitely something. I guess I thought I was kinda... big stuff. 
trying to act like a star back home, you know? You are big stuff, Chris. You are going to win the world's best band competition. But Jesus is one of the most famous guys ever. And all he wants to do is serve and show us a better way to treat one another. I really had this being great thing all backwards. It's not about me. It's about everybody else. Chris, I think we're going back. Father, I do not ask you to take my followers out of the world, but keep them safe from the evil one. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Joy, I'm sorry for how I was acting before. Yeah, maybe Jesus had it right, huh? Gizmo, I treated you awful too, bossing you around. Will you forgive me? Um, sure. But does this mean that I can no longer use a bullhorn to boss others around in your name? That's exactly what it means, Giz. From now on, we ask if we can serve others before we... Oh, man. I almost forgot. My band! <laughs> Here, Will. Let me help with that. Thanks, Chris. Is it bad I can't feel my hands? Kidding! I'm kidding! Hey, guys! The real Chris is back! No more Star Jerk! Oh, hey! Right yeah, that's great. Awesome. Now that's how a real superstar behaves.
Plus, an easy to understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon.